Did I just read that out of the Bible? Hold on, nah, that, that, the Bible didn't say that. Hold on, go back. Welcome back to another Iron Sharpest Iron video. Today's topic is going to be build a God. Oh man, we finna bust this one up, Jack. This is going to be a good video. Build a God. So there are a bunch of people. There are so many people in the body of Christ. So many people that say they love God. They follow the Bible. They read their Bible. That they, you know, love Jesus. They know God. So many people that say that they have an imaginary God that they have built in their head, in their mind, that goes along with the way that they live their life. They have a God that they so-called worship or serve that is okay with the things that they do. They like cherry picking the scriptures that they like about God and the ones they don't like. They take the Bible and they say, okay, okay, God loves the world. Okay, I like that one. That's my God. All things are possible through Christ. Okay, yeah, that's my God. Um, for the wages of sin is death. Ooh, no, I don't like that one. My God is awesome. Oh yeah, I like that one. That's my God. With men, it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Oh yeah, I like that one. Uh, God loved the world. He saved Jesus. Oh man. Oh yeah, I like that one. That's good. Can't be homosexual. Oh, I really don't like that one. I'm wonderfully, beautifully made. Oh yes, I love that one. That's my favorite. Buying is a sin. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, stealing is a sin. Oh, I like to steal. Sleeping around and not married. Oh, I love doing that. No, I don't want that one either. Man, anything that's a sin, I just don't want any of that. You can't judge. Oh yes, my guy doesn't judge. They go and they take all the things that they don't like about God and they throw it away and all the things that they like in the Bible, the scriptures they like, the ones they want their God to have, they take all of those and they build a God with them scriptures. They take all those scriptures, yeah, my God doesn't judge, so he accepts everybody. No sin, see, yeah, my God doesn't even know what sin is. My God doesn't even talk, talk about sin, so you can do anything. Whatever you want to do, you can do it because that's my God. Can you kill? Well, no, the killing, that's that's the only one you can't do. If you if you kill somebody, you, you, you can't be with my God. My God doesn't like killers, but my God accepts everyone else, no matter what you do. Love, peace, it's all about love. Everyone needs love, rights, rights, equal rights. That's my God. People take all the scriptures they don't like out of the Bible, and they trash. And then all the stuff that they do like, the wonderfully, beautifully made, don't judge, they, they, they like those scriptures. All things are possible with Christ. God loves everybody. Jesus loves everybody. They take all of those scriptures and they use that to build their God. Hebrews 13 and 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. That scripture just said that Jesus Christ is the same as yesterday, today, and forever. Meaning what he said yesterday is going to apply today and is going to apply forever. So the same man that said he loves the world, take care of your neighbor, love God, put others first, is the same one that said if you don't repent, you will perish. The same guy that's preparing the table before the midst of your enemies and your cup runneth over, the same guy that said that is the same guy that said he hates all workers of iniquity and if you don't repent, you will perish. The same guy that said that he's going to walk with you in the darkest of valleys is the same guy that said drunkenness can get into the kingdom of God. The same God that said he sent his only begotten son so that you can have every life is the same guy that said if you sleep around before you get married, that's a sin. The same God that said he would never leave or forsake you is the same one that said, do not make any cuttings in your flesh, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. The same God that said all things are possible through him is the same God that said, if you don't forgive others, he won't forgive you. The same God that said he's going to open up the floodgates of heaven and let it rain down on your blessings is the same God said, if you sin willfully after knowing the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. The same God that said he's a counselor, friend, and provider is the same God that said in the beginning he made them male and female. The same God that said ask and you shall receive is the same God that gave you the Ten Commandments. The same God that said you can walk through the water and you will not drown and you can walk through the fire and you will not burn is the same God that said the foolish will not stand in his sight. He hate all workers of iniquity. So you cannot pick and choose what scriptures you want. You can't just build a God to the standards of your liking. It don't work like that. You have to apply the whole Bible. It said Jesus Christ is the same as today, yesterday, and forever. He's not going to change. Jesus Christ talked about hell. I don't know why people don't think Jesus talked about hell. Jesus talked about hell more than anybody. Look it up, do your research. Jesus talked about hell more than anybody else in the Bible. So the same Jesus that you talk about loves everybody and accepts you. Yes, God loves you. 
He does love you. Jesus loves you. Let me tell you that. Jesus does love you. He wants the best for you. You can definitely get that gift of eternal life. But if you keep on doing the fool, if you keep on sinning, if you keep on doing what you want to do instead of his way, then you're not going to get his eternal life. That's not going to happen. You can't think that you can keep doing what you want. You can live how you want to live here, have an imaginary God, even though the same God you supposedly say you believe in is going against what you're doing. You can't have that God, the make-believe God, and think you can die and just waltz right, in, right on into heaven and be with the real God. No, no, no. It don't work like that. 1 John 2 and 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Did I just... Did I just read that out of the Bible? Hold on, nah, that, that the Bible didn't say that. Hold on, go back. 1 John 2 and 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. It did say that. The Bible just said, if you say you know him, but you don't keep his commandments, you are a what? A liar. You're a big liar. You are a liar. You cannot say that you know the God of the Bible. Remember, that's the one we're talking about. You're talking about Allah, Buddha. You're talking about any of those. We're not talking about them false gods. We're talking about the God of the Bible. We're talking about Jesus. So if you say you know Jesus, you love Jesus, that's your man. He's the captain of your ship. He's the author of your book. He all that. That He all of that. That's you. But you don't do his will. You don't follow his commandments. You're a liar. You are a liar. You cannot say you know God but you don't do what he says. A lot of people, they know of God, but they don't know God. Let me say it again. A lot of people know of God, but they don't know God. Meaning they know of him like, oh yeah, I know who Jesus is, but you don't really know him. If you really knew him, you would be reading his word. If you really knew God, you would know his word because that's the only way to know him. You can't have a makeshift relationship, you know, doing fake high fives in the air. Hey Jesus, you doing all of that, but you don't know none of his commandments. You cheating on your wife, and he said, don't do that. You stealing and lying and cheating from folks, and he's like, what are you doing? You claim to know God, but you don't do his will. You're being disobedient. I don't know what Bible you're reading. There's no Bible for you. Because the Bible that you should be reading is completely against what you're doing. You can't steal from everybody and think you have a relationship with God. It doesn't work. No, because if you had a relationship with God, you wouldn't steal. You wouldn't be taking things from people. You can't live a homosexual lifestyle and think that you know Jesus. No, it doesn't work like that. The same God that said you can get the gift of eternal life, which is Jesus, you can get that gift is the same one that said it's an abomination. You cannot do what you want to do. Try to sprinkle Jesus on it and think it's going to be okay. You can't just live how you want to live. Build your God to the standards of your liking. Throw away the Bible. Throw away the scriptures you don't like and think that's going to work. Revelation 22, 18 and 19. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Credits. Man, yo, this, that scripture, that is one of the scariest scriptures in the Bible. It just said, if you add to it, so you just heard the Bible, you heard the scripture, you know it's somewhere in there, and then you try to add to it, you try to put your little twist on it, you going to get added the plagues of life. That's, that's what's going to happen to you. The Bible say, don't do this, but you're like, well, it say don't do that, but it really meant don't do this. And you just make it into your own interpretation. You just, well, nah, the times have changed, you know, so I'm going to add this in there. You try to add your own scriptures. It, oh boy, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. And if you don't like the scriptures, oh no, I like getting tattoos. Oh yeah, I like this. Is my body, my canvas. Oh, I want to do what I want with it. It's my body. So this talking about, nah, let me rip that out. I don't want that. Oh no, I like having sex. I need about 10, 12 girlfriends at one time. I'm a player. I'm a PIMP. So this talking about fornication, nah, I don't want that scripture. I don't need that. We'll throw that one away. I don't like that one. You can't do stuff like that. You got to apply the whole Bible. 
all of it. You can't just disregard the ones you don't like. You can't just add to it. It doesn't work like that. If you try to take away scriptures from the Bible, your name is getting taken out of Book of the Life. If your name is not in the Lamb Book of Life, this is going to be you. You're going to try to walk on to heaven. Hey, guy, what's up, Jesus? I remember we had that good old relationship. Yeah, yeah, you love me. I love you. Everybody can get in. Hey, oh. hey, sir, you can't get in here. What you mean? I had a relationship with God. What you talking about? Well, I got this tattoo right here. Can't nobody judge me but God. What you mean I can't get into heaven? Your name not on the list, sir. You're not on the land book of life. If your name is not in the book of life, when you get to heaven on judgment day, when you walk up to the gates, access denied, you're going to get departed and go straight to hell. That's what's going to happen. If your name not on the list, then this you, you can't get in. Man, I pray that you learn something from this. I know I stepped on a lot of toes, but it, I don't care. If you did learn something, please share this information. Iron Sharp as Iron. There are so many people out there building their own God, thinking they can do whatever they want, and the God just going to be okay with it when the same God that the scriptures that they like is the same God said all the scriptures that they hate. So you just got to take both of them. You can't just pick and choose what you want. You got to do it God's way. That is the only way. Jesus is the only way to heaven. I don't know how many times I got to say it, but somebody still don't know. Jesus is the only way. So the only way for you to get to heaven is to have Jesus. And the only way for you to have Jesus is for you to deny yourself, pick up, carry your cross daily, and follow him. And when you do those things in that order, you stop doing what you want to do. You have to stop sinning because in him, there is no sin. So you can't keep doing what you want to do. You can't live how you want to live and lie, stick, chill, be homosexual, cheat on your wife, do drugs, hate your neighbor, have jealousy, have anger, be super overweight. You, you can't do all that stuff and think you're going to be with God. And just, no, 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 no. So tell somebody about how great God is, about how the same God that said all the good, great stuff, which the scriptures everybody loves, is the same God that talks about hell. People are going to go to hell. There's a, and unfortunately, y'all, man, there are more people going to hell than going to heaven. I hate to say that, but there are more people going to hell than that are going to heaven. Because the road to hell is that big old broad path. Everybody's on it. Narrow is the way. Few will find the one that's going to heaven. So a lot of people are going to go to hell because they want to build their own God and they think it's going to be okay. But then when they get to the gates, it's going to be access denied for them. They can't get in. And as always, we're too blessed to be stressed, y'all. Stay blessed by the best. Don't forget to pray for the rest. And until next time.